Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Launch CRP129 tool and hopefully answering some questions and giving you everything you need to know about this product before you go ahead and buy it. So hopefully by the end of the video, you will have a greater understanding of what the tool can do if it's gonna be suitable for your needs and maybe have a look at one of its competitors to see if that is more suitable for your needs. So first of all, I think what we'll do is um, we'll have a look to see what's in the box, then we'll connect it to a vehicle and take a closer look. So this is the box itself. Let's give you a quick look around the box itself and then we'll open it up. So as you can see, this is the main tool itself is quite difficult to get out it's quite well packed in here there we go so that's the tool itself on the back you will have serial numbers bit of information about the tool uh, the power button more ports right there and that's about it for the tool itself then we've got a power cable which looks like it connects to the uh, the kit into the vehicle and then underneath here We've got a nice, easy to use uh, carry pouch. So I guess you can keep it in the vehicle at all times. So we have the tool plugged into the vehicle now. Um, we've got a cable running from the top of the tool into the diagnostic port of this BMW. And as you can see, we also have a check engine light showing on the dashboard here. So in summary, what is the tool? Well, it's basically a handheld diagnostic tool, OBD2 code reader scan tool for the home DIYer who wants to look after their own car and maybe has a few other cars to look after as well. So it does cover multiple vehicles and manufacturers uh, we'll get into that in a moment but it's definitely aimed I would say at the um, the home DIY uh, where can you buy this tool well there are probably a lot of places to buy this tool but unfortunately there are fakes, there are clones on the market, so I would highly recommend using the link in the description below this video. With that link, you will ensure that you get a genuine product. There are fakes, there are clones, as I say. They won't do as they're told, they won't last a long time, and unfortunately, the market is kind of flooded with them, but um, we do know that the link, the, the kit in the description there is definitely a genuine product. Uh, it's not us selling this kit, by the way, so I'm not just saying that. Um, it's just, we, we want you to get a genuine product and you know get rid of this the scammers and the fakes. How much is the tool? It's currently £214, which is $282. That is subject to change though. It is December 2020 right now. Prices could change, uh, you know, a year down the line. Uh, how is it powered? Well, this tool is a little bit different to other tools because it does have an internal battery. So that means that if we could, if we remove this power cable here or the connection cable to the vehicle, then this tool will still stay alive. You can still get access to everything on screen and you can look at all the data and things like that. So it does have an internal battery, but it does mean you do need to charge the battery. There's a port right there for charging the battery. The other end of the cable, one end goes in there, the other end goes into a USB and that's how you charge it. Uh, what manufacturers are covered? Okay, so if I click on to diagnose here, and then we can just show you all of the manufacturers. So I'm just gonna scroll th slowly through them. And if you need to pause anything, then please feel free to do so. But it covers quite a large range of manufacturers and vehicles within those manufacturers. Um, so what about um, system coverage okay that depends on the vehicle so if we go back into diagnose and we go to we're in a bmw right now as you can see so we click on to bmw click ok it breaks it up into different sections so we'll go manually select um okay we'll go three series so it tells us there are three sections. So this is the drive which contains the engine and the transmission. Anything else you get access to is a little bit of a bonus because on a BMW you, you will get access to a few other things. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but on say like a, a VW or an Audi you may not get access to those. Um, right, I'm just going to go back in here one second. Command and select. Right, so that's where we were. Those are the drive options. Then you can go to the chassis. The main one we're looking for here is the ABS system, but again, you might get a few more. And then in the body, the main one we're looking for is the airbags, but again, you might get a few more depending on the vehicle. So in essence though, on all vehicles, the, the very least you'll get access to is engines, airbags, ABS, and transmission. Those are the main things you'll get access to. 
So what data does it give you and what can you do when you do get a fault code? Well, as you can see here on the uh, dashboard, we've got a check engine light on this BMW. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through to the home screen and just click on the OBD2. And this is just a really quick way of getting access to the engine fault codes. So it's gonna do a quick check. It's telling us the mill is on and there are two codes in this ECU, so DTCs, Diagnostic Trouble Codes in this ECU, so I'll click OK to that, and we've got a lot of information regarding these codes, but we can go to Read Fault Code, and this is the screen that will ultimately give you the fault code itself and the description of the fault code. So we've got P0101, Mass or Volume, uh, Airflow, A Circuit Range Performance, P0113, Intake Air Temperature Sensor. Now what I love about this particular kit is that if we go to, uh, you can go code search, all right? It's got two options, help or code search. Well, actually I'll do help first. Just gives you a little bit of information about the type of fault that you've got. But if we go to code search, it's gonna take us straight to Google and it's telling us, it's putting the fault code in automatically and it's finding lots of information about these fault codes. So the chances are if you've got it, somebody else will have it as well. So that is highly, uh, well I'm very impressed with that actually. But um, if you wanted to erase the fault code, let's see if we can do it here. Um, click on to yes. Test conditions are not met. Okay. So clear fault code. Okay, engine off. DTCs have been cleared and then we start the engine again and it has turned off the check engine light so that's basically in a nutshell how you can do that very easy very simple does it give live data it does give live data you can uh, select all bits of live data if you want you can get access to live data from the engine um, you can get access to live data for different systems like the ABS. You can also find graphing information as well. So just click on graph on one of them. Um, let's say I was to find... Oh, it's got DPF data as well. Um, lots of different percentages and obviously you can get your, your graphing data as well. Um, one thing you probably worked out is that yes, it is a touch screen. Um, there are no buttons, despite you know the other the other versions of this tool will have buttons on here, and they can only be uh, sort of toggled through by using the buttons. This one you can only have it as a touch screen. There are no additional buttons. Uh, what about the updates? How much are the updates on this tool? Updates on this are free for life. That is assuming you buy it from a genuine seller, like the one in the description below this video. If you buy it from a fake outlet and the tool is fake, they may well charge you for updates. They may not even get access to updates at all. So that's another reason and that you should be really making sure that you go for the genuine product. Uh, how to update it? Well, it's very easy to update it. Um, all you need to do is click on the upgrade button. And I've done an update on this this morning, so there may not be any updates available. Uh, we've got the current versions all installed here, as you can see. But it's just really a case of going select all and then click an update if you wanted to do that. It's one touch, you don't need to plug anything into your PC or laptop. So in that respect, it's really, really easy to do and uh, much easier than other tools. So how does it compare to other tools? Uh, well, the one I would say that is probably in direct competition is this one here. I'm just gonna zoom out here. It's the iCarsoft CR Pro. Uh, this kit here is a little bit more expensive. This is coming in at like £259. Uh, I'll put the link to this kit in the description as well. But this kit here, the iCarsoft kit, will cover all of the um, all of the main all of the main systems like the engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, and all other systems as well. So it'll cover your elect all of your electronic systems, your navs, your central locking, your power steering. Um, you know, you name it. This will cover absolutely everything. This is just really focusing on the main systems. With regards to the special functions as well, if we go to the reset option. We've got brake reset, we've got oil reset, steering angle sensor, throttle relearn, TPMS. This kit will also do that, but this does additional systems as well. So this will uh, also do um, 
injector coding, it will do um, ABS brake bleeding, it will do DPF regeneration and a couple more as well. Like you say, have a look in the, the link below for the, uh, the special functions for the CR Pro. This does do you know, an okay level of special functions. What I'd really love to see on this menu here though is the DPF. Unfortunately, it doesn't do DPF regeneration. Um, can you get help and support? You can. Um, I think you need to log in or maybe go onto the website. Uh, one thing you would probably need to do actually is contact your the people you bought it off. So um, it depends who you buy it off. You know, you, you may not get any help or support at all if you're buying it from a, a fake outlet or, or a, a seller that doesn't really have a good reputation. Um, so make sure you're buying it from a seller who has a good reputation. Uh, can it print faults? Yes, it can. One thing I love about this is you can print faults as well. Uh, what you do is you share the data with, um, well, it asks you, let me show you. I'm not sure if it'll do it on this one actually. But it, basically you can share the data. How you do this is you get your fault codes, get your vehicle report, and you can, um, oh actually, sorry, I do know how to do it. Diagnose, you know, auto detect. This is another feature of the tool. It does an automatic detection. And it does a quick scan of all the systems to see if there are any faults. Okay. It creates, a, it creates a kind of a report and basically in a nutshell it allows you to um, allows you to share it and then email it so you can just send it via email to the email address that you've got um, but that's the report that it provides obviously if there were any fault codes it would it would give information regarding those faults uh, languages let's have a quick look while we're here Um, I'm guessing it's going to be in settings, language, so I've got quite a few languages there. Um, instructions for the tool itself, it does come with instructions. Um, that's a user manual which is in the box, it, you'll find this in the carry pouch. This is the quick launch and quick start guide and just basically shows you how to do quick starts, um, I guess. Um, is it easy to use and would I recommend it to anybody with little or no experience? Absolutely yes. I mean, I think it can take a little bit of getting used to because it, it does have things in a slightly different layout to what I would normally expect from like the iCarsoft tools and the previous generations of launch tools as well actually. But it's very easy to use. You can't do any damage to the tool. You can't do any damage to the vehicle. It's just a case, like anything, just getting used to the screen layout and what options and buttons to press. Um, does it double up as a tablet? It doesn't double up as a tablet, no. Um, you, this tool can only be used as a diagnostic tool. So what about some of the other options on screen? Well, we've got battery voltage tests, so it's giving you um, battery information. Not sure how useful anybody would find that. The iCarsoft tool gives much better battery voltage information. Um, IM readiness. So it's going to do like um, checks. Not sure how long this takes. There we go. So I am readiness checks, which is pretty easy. Exit that. Uh, mail. I guess you can send emails. I've never looked at this function myself, in all honesty. Oh, maybe you can do. Oh, you can. Ah, right. Okay, I see. So you can add on additional functions like DPF. I get it gear learning, immobilizer, injector coding, suspensions, ah, I see, right, yeah, so you can add on the things I would like to see, to see, yeah, which is pretty good, I suppose, um, <clears throat> it gives you the, the ability to just add what you really want. Uh, and how fast is delivery on this tool? Delivery, I think, is uh, about one to two working days on this one. 
um, so it's really fast uh, but like I say order it via the link in the description below this video and it will take you to the genuine product where you'll get a uh, quick delivery and a really really good quality tool overall it's a fantastic tool I'd highly recommend it and I hope you've learned something from this video and I hope you've taken um, I hope you've come I hope you've got out of the video what you came here to get information on this tool uh, thanks for watching we have lots of comparison uh, for this particular tool coming very soon as well um, so for example we'll be doing side-by-side -side comparisons with this tool and many other tools as well just give us a bit of time we'll get these uploaded on the channel as soon as possible thanks for watching I'll see you soon